Hey guys, this is Chris. Um, I just wanted to uh, step back for a second and um, go over some changes. Um, when I started making this tutorial, um, the beta release of Vixen 3 was not out yet. Um, KC basically had provided me with um, testbed and the DLLs um, so that I could get started on the tutorial. Um, but since then, uh, since I didn't get done real quick, um, the beta has been released um, and the testbed is a little bit different. So I just wanted to run through so that you could follow through with the, um, with the tutorial uh, and kind of realize what's going on. Um, now, I've used this one on the left. That's what I've been using uh, up till now with all the tutorials. That is no longer a valid uh, test bed. Um, this is the new one on the right here. Um, and I just want to show you a couple things on, on basically how you use it. Um, I just started playing with it tonight, so I'm sure I'm missing a lot. But um, it's definitely enough to get going with this. Um, now, when I talk about adding controllers um, in on the old one, um, in the new one, you can just uh, configure output controllers. Uh, just click on add a new controller and it will show up your um, your output modules. Uh, this is the tutorial we are working on. We So far at this point we are up to uh, part 8, I believe. Um, but I'm going to post this earlier. Uh, so if, if if it's a little more than what you have now, don't worry about it. We're getting to it. Um, and you just click OK, and it creates your module, your output module. Um, and we want to give it, let's say, four channels. Uh, you just click Update, and it will make that four channels. Now, in the old version, when I talk, every time I talk about the Setup button, um, that now is this uh, Configure Controller button. Um, so you can just uh, click on this and it will give us our setup dialog. Again, if, if the point you're at in the tutorial doesn't get this far, um, just realize when you get there um, that it's going to look uh, slightly different. But this is, this is basically the setup. Um, configure outputs. Uh, these are the outputs. We're not putting any transforms on them or anything. Um, and then generate channels. What that does is this automatically uh, adds four channels. Um, one channel will be for each output on our um, controller. So if you click OK here, you can go into the channels and you will see... Um, these are the different uh, nodes um, and you'll see down here that they are patched to our output uh, controller. So there are just the differences between, uh, just so you understand, um, you are probably going through this with the newer version um, and like I said the beginning of the tutorial I had the older version um, and I'm going to switch over and do everything now on the newer version because it's, it's really pretty cool. Um, so that's that.